Exxon hit with lawsuit over claims that plastic products could be getting people sick. Concern about plastics pollution has grown over the years as we've learned more about its harmful impact on the environment. Now, so far, much of the effort is centered on recycling, but it turns out much of the waste material is incapable of being recycled, and a pair of lawsuits have been filed to hold the world's largest supplier of plastics Oh, this is gonna get interesting. I'm a big fan of doing what it takes to keep our environment safe, keep our environment healthy, keep our environment clean, but I've always suspected recycling was kind of a major scam. Let's keep watching. Accountable. John Remus has the story. For the last 10 years, whenever you go to the grocery store, you have to pay 10 cents for a shopping bag, the thick kind like this that can be recycled. But it turns depending on where you live turns out there is no practical way to recycle this. Never has been. And the lawsuit says the people who manufacture these and the solution is not recycling, it's conservation, just using less in the first place. But that would hurt the pocketbooks of major corporations. So they have convinced us recycling is the way to save the planet. Have known that all along. On Saturday, the whole Bay Area turned out for California Coastal Cleanup Day, and in Berkeley, it wasn't hard to find trash caught up in the rocky shoreline. Our biggest focus is plastic right now because plastic not only, plastic doesn't decompose. It breaks down into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller pieces until you have microplastics, um, which are the, the famous things that are all of our wildlife is um, confusing as food. Despite all the efforts to recycle, microplastics are everywhere now on land, in the water, they've even been found in the Sierra snowpack. Environmentalists say enough is enough, and they, along with the California Attorney General, have filed lawsuits in San Francisco against Exxon. A little bit too little too late, I don't know that this is going to reduce the amount of plastic, the amount of microplastics that's in our food, in our water, in our body, but it does mean that somebody's gonna get a little bit of a payday out of this. Mobile, the largest producer of plastic in the world. We know that Exxon, for decades, has known, because we've seen their internal documents, that plastics are not recyclable. And internal documents can still be brought into the light of court, so keep that in mind when you're keeping internal records. Despite that fact, they've been promoting to the California public that plastics are recyclable and deceiving consumers into using their products when only 5% of plastics are in fact recyclable. The biggest problem is lightweight plastic films and bags. At Recology in San Francisco, they have a mountain of material for recycling, and despite spending tens of millions on sorting equipment, they still have no way to process the plastic bags that come in. When plastic bags are placed in a recycling bin, they get mixed with other materials. And when they're mixed like that, it's, it's very difficult to impossible to recycle them. Exxon profited by claiming pro that plastics are disposable, safe, and recyclable. And that's simply not true. In a written statement, Exxon refuted the claim, saying, quote, for decades, California officials have known their recycling system isn't effective. They failed to act, and now they seek to blame others. And okay. Good old game of finger pointing. The government points at the corporation, corporation points at the government, and nothing ends up happening. Quote, the company says they are having some success with a process called advanced recycling that they say breaks down plastic. Oh, okay, so recycling wasn't working, but advanced recycling would be the solution. Like films using heat or chemicals. But Attorney General Rob Bonta says that is just continuing what many are now calling the recycling myth. What solution does ExxonMobil give us? Plastic recycling. Recycling myth, who else just said that? Like, a farce, a lie, a deceit. Since the 70s, ExxonMobil has known the truth about plastic pollution and recycling and still publicly promotes the myth that plastic recycling is the answer. And what happened here is their de deceptive marketing gave Californians a false sense of security, a belief that the plastic they were buying was actually going to be recycled and in fact, it was not. They're asking the court to hold Exxon responsible for cleaning up what may be an impossible mess to clean up. By doing that, they hope to make headway in the larger fight to force companies to stop generating so much plastic waste in the first place.
The environmentalists and the attorney general each filed separate lawsuits in San Francisco Superior Court, but they expect them to be consolidated into a single case. It was just filed this morning, and no action is expected for at least 60 days. There's really no end in sight for how much could be owed in damages. ExxonMobil is not the most sympathetic defendant, but if this is something that's been going on for decades and Exxon knew about it and then chances are the government who is doing the recycling knew about it as well, it just makes you wonder how easy it would be for a plaintiff to come in and scrutinize an activity that a defendant thought was innocent, has been going on for decades, to then allege damages. And even if it was a smaller thing that a defendant had done wrong, over a long enough period of time, that's enough that put any person out of business that could bankrupt any individual. Our legal system is just as broken as the rest of our government. Unfortunately, I don't know that that's going to be fixed anytime soon, but what you can do is take action to safeguard yourself.